Hey, what's going on? This is Brian at Nature's Roots Farm. I'm here this week to talk a little, little about a little bit about what's on my mind, and that's been food lately. And uh, food in general is really of all aspects, from cultural platforms to the way food is grown, to the way food is consumed, and all the way to the farmers who produce that food. So over the next few months, through our newsletters, I want to really hone in on the uh, types of food that we're producing here, all the different from the, the dairy products to the pork to the eggs and the wood products all the way to other producers like Fogwell Farms who's doing chicken and uh, some of the kraut people and just try to get the producer in touch with all of you our customers. Um, while we talk about uh, what's been on my mind I want to make my way over to the orchard so you can see the beautiful uh, Chloreopsis flowers that are coming out and the way we have our, our, our orchard designed is uh, a nice back row of yellow to blend in with the the fall colors that are coming in right now. But first, uh, we really want to knock out the the what's been on my mind about food, and I just don't understand why people invest in such a cheap food system. Uh, I'm not, you know, it's occurred to me that maybe it's some of the social issues uh, or the way uh, social statuses are being portrayed now of having the best you know cars having the best phones having all the the top systems in, installed in your house that you're paying top dollar for and then at the end of the day uh, when you're done with all the entertainment type stuff it comes down to cheap food and then along with cheap food if you think about it food is what makes up your the energy for your your life the way you go day to day and they also produce the the millions of cells that are reproducing on a daily basis so you know, if you think about it, junk in, you're gonna get junk out and, you know, daily physical activity, uh, mental capacity, uh, spiritual capacity, e you know, even the same thing. I, food is a big part of the way health has evolved since we've uh, gotten into conventional agriculture and whatnot. But, you know, from a religious standpoint, people pray for, you know, ask for healing all the time and then they're putting junk food in their body and they, and they're wondering why they're sick all the time and asking for healing. It's just like this endless circle. And then, you know, and then, or they go to the doctor and they religiously believe into the doctor and the doctor's prescribing all these medications thinking that the magic pill is going to be it. Next thing you know it, they're taking 16 medications and they still feel worse than they did before. And they're still eating crap. And some of these medications are acting, you know, they, they require that you can't even eat healthy vegetables because they'll counteract some of the, the effects of the medication. So then they're even put you in further back. And then what you, they have you eating is this, laboratory uh i don't even know how to explain it blob of, of crap that's put in a box and has a, a seal of guarantee the guaranteed of you know of all these health issues in the future anyway that's that's me and my rant on food so i want to explore all the types of food production over the next few months through our newsletters like i said and really get in touch with the uh, food producers themselves so you can see where all your food is coming from not just the food here at Nature's Roots Farm. But first, uh, before we end this, and I introduce the Carolina pot plant, I'm gonna show you the orchard. We have now four rows of fruit trees coming down this hill in a swale pattern. And we have them 20, uh, 25 to 30 feet uh, spaced out across to the next level. And then our back row, you can see the Chloreopsis flowers in full bloom. And below that will be, uh, a pond that will be installed and then more fruit trees and nut trees on the other side so in this orchard we have figs apples cherries pecans uh, and then we have peaches in the back and we have mimosa for nitrogen fixers and we have some honey locust that's going to be transplanted soon to get this thing popping off but anyway i'm really excited about all the work that's going on here and then in between all the rows we have cover crops so we have peas coming up here and we have new uh, pea sprouts coming up and then we have, this is uh, sod, sod buster radishes. There's some vetch actually still going on. And there's also buckwheat coming up and, and blooming out here. So that's pretty cool stuff we have going on. This is some of the development. By the end of the end of the year, we'll have this whole thing planted out and fruit and nut trees and blueberries and other food producing plants and edibles. Anyway, before we get going for the, for the, for this week, I want to introduce the new Carolina pot plant. 
Some people might think it's very illegal what we're doing out here, but we're really excited about the first crop of pot pots here. And uh, we have these stainless steel pots that have bloomed off this pot plant. And you know, if you're a husband and you have a, a stay-at-home mother that's cooking all the time, this is this is a win-win right here. You know, you can have quality pot growing for your for your cooking ware for your wife in the kitchen and stainless steel you can't even beat that you know this is great stuff this is organic pot and Angela's gonna love me for this first crop we can just replace all our cooking ware just with this one tree so we're really happy about this and if you're interested you can give us a call and we can try to give you some cuttings of this new newly formed pot plant well thank you for joining us today at Nature's Ridge Farm and we look forward to working with you in the future have a great day